Hi y'all, it's Regina from Mars Mini 101. Welcome in my yarning and crafty friends. Welcome in my new family members and returning family members. Hopefully everyone is having a wonderful and blessed day. And hopefully everyone's weather is okay out there. Because I know there are some storms and it's snowing. So what is your weather in your neck of the woods? Leave me a comment down below. i love to know. It's sunny here in West Virginia. Partly cloudy, I should say. I think it's supposed to be in the 50s today, so I can, I can deal with that. And it is November the 29th. Like, the other day, it felt like it was like 80 degrees outside. Which is crazy for November. Where I live, we usually have snow. And there goes my dog. This is the third time I've been recording this. So, I was here to show you guys my Miramax kitchen. Which already opens. And my dog is sitting at the table. Arr, you be a good boy. Here we go. So this is what's inside the bag. This is all the farther I got. And I'm like, wait a minute, I want you guys to see it too. So here is my yarn. Ooh. Look at this. So beautiful. So this is, if I didn't say already, Mary Maxim, Maxim Yarn Monthly Club. Monthly Scription Club, whatever you want to call it. But wow, look at these. Oh my god, they are so beautiful. I love these colors. Ooh. Oh my goodness. It's Red Heart Gemstone. I've never tried that. I've seen other people make stuff with this. It is. Oh. Well, that's not cool. Like with the pattern. You can't read it. I, it's 312 yards, 285 meters, 7 ounces, 200 grams, 100% acrylic, and I will open it up. I usually don't because I like, have dogs and cats and long hair. So this is kind of cool what I like about these. They come in these little plastic containers or bag. So if you're like me and have long hair and cats and animals, it kind of helps protect them if you ever want to do a giveaway or make it for someone who might be allergic to cats or dogs or people hair. <laughs> okay, so we got it open. Ooh, wow. Look at these beautiful colors. Oh my, look at so This is like, I guess this would be my fall for November. For some reason, I get it like at the end of the month anymore. I'm not sure why. I usually get it like the week before the end of the month, like the third week, but anyways, look at these colors, oh, they're so pretty, there's purple and greens and browns and oranges, it's called amber, I guess first time, amber, a bulky five, wow, ooh, this would make a gorgeous hat. I like this. And I've been busting out hats for Christmas. So this would be a really cute hat. So it's gemstone. Has anyone ever tried Red Heart gemstone? If you have, leave me a comment down below. And I'd love to know what you guys made with it. Thank you guys for sharing. Uh, so we got three of these. Are they all the, yes, they're all the same color. Another amber. And another amber. So they're, the colors are a little wild and different, but this one's got like the more the orange showing and the blues and the purples. But this, these are so, I love these colors. And a bulky five, yeah, these would make cute hats. All right, and it comes with patterns. So, so the pattern they sent was the cow, and that's beautiful too. Look at them colors. I don't know if it's like glaring, but the, it works out really pretty. I think that would make a cute hat too. And let's see, for this pattern you need one ball, so then you're still left with two balls. So that's cool. Um, and basically, that's the simple pattern to make that. Oh wait, oh my goodness, it came with a pattern. Which I'm kind of struggling in making. And just because my brain's like. Doo -doo -doo -doo. But oh, 
they are so adorable. Look at these. Oh, them are such cute mittens. These are ribbon mittens. Size fits average lady. Are you a man? You ain't getting no, no man. No gloves today. No mittens. Look at them. They're so cute. Oh my goodness. Yes. I know what I'll be casting on. Um, And you only need one ball for them too. Wow. So you can make mittens and a hat. I'm sure there's plenty of because it's a three, 312 yards. So you could probably make a hat. Mittens. Have left over from this to make another hat to make your two sets of mittens or make your hat, your cow, and mittens. Wow, or try to do that is so yeah, I know what I'm gonna be working on, but ooh, look at these beautiful yarns. I am so excited. I think this one has been the most exciting one I've got for a while. Like the last one was really nice because it was think the fluffy yarn to make blankets and stuff with so yeah I really I've been really impressed with I'm not sponsored by Merrimax in any which way but I really like their club I like their descriptions I've only like one yarn wasn't my thing I think it's just because I didn't know how to use it and it was like the Novity yarn, which had like six different types of yarn. One, it was, it was a hank of yarn. And I've started to make the shawl, but I probably will frog that. Most likely, because I totally, I think I lost my paper where I was at. And then I dropped a lot of stitches. So, yeah, I'll probably frog that one. But life goes on. We learn and we get better, right? So... If you guys are all wondering, it's a monthly subscription, and like I said, I've loved like all the yarn I've got. Like I got one month, I got scrubby yarn, stuff to make shawls and blankets, and I think there was a baby blanket in one, but the it was really fuzzy. So I'm happy with all this like the yarn I've got. And then they do have a crochet club. Mine's a knitting. Um, so the club, the knit club of the month is only $16.99, which is decent. But, um, your shipping and handling is $4.99. So, uh, so it's a, that's cheap for most places. So it comes up to $21.98. $22 a month for some yarn and patterns. You can't go wrong. So I really enjoy my Miramax. I did cancel my knit crate because it got a little pricey for me, like with the holidays coming up and stuff. I'll probably join them the first of the year, get back to them the first of the year. Um, because I was only getting the one hank for, and it came up to twenty twenty five dollars. That's for shipping and handling, which isn't bad, but it was just a little much right now. So, because I like I love knit crate. If you ever want to sponsor me, just saying, I'd be more than happy to help you guys. Or Mary Max. I like either one. But I'm just I just enjoy getting buying some yarn. I did not go Black Friday shopping, but I do have some yarn in my buggy knit crate. I just didn't get time to do it. Hopefully they still have their sales going on. Because I want to try to make a sweater with some of that I have in my buggy. So I'm excited. Don't get too excited. I probably won't order it. But hopefully. But once again, look at these colors. Wow. I said it's sad that they don't have the picture of the colors here, you know? I guess this would be like a gauge swatch to kind of see what it looks like. Like, I think, yeah, that would make an awesome hat, too. Because just imagine if you cut it that way, you do that. Or you could flip it around and you can go from, like, here to the purple and stop. Yeah. I'm liking that. That is amazing. And these mittens are so adorable. Oh my gosh. I just, and the colors look so cute. Yeah, I think I'm going to work on these. It looks pretty simple. I was just having problems because I didn't write it down. And when I picked it back up, somehow I must have turned it inside out. Yeah. So I, I, I frogged them. So then I started trying it on the loom. Just 
could, so I could try to at least get a sediment in some before the holidays. But I might try this. It looks pretty simple. Um, you just need a 25, 24 circular needle, a size 8 is what circular needle you need, which is 5.0 millimeters. Uh, da, 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 da. You just need to know how to knit, purl, decrease, and increase. That's pretty simple. I use a circular needle as I find it's easier to transfer stitches and hold stitches on the needle as I work back and forth. However, you can use straight needles if the method is comfortable for you. So that's pretty cool because straight needles, it's not hard to, because in a way, it's like knitting straight almost. So yeah, I'm like, I just want to like get off here and start knitting these cute mittens. I, because this yarn is so beautiful. And it's a bulky five. It's not too soft. It's not as squishy as it was in the bag. So it's kind of got some resistance to it. But it is still cute and beautiful. Well, hopefully I did not bore y'all on my yarn haul. Or yarn description. I'm still learning the, the slang for your guys' way of saying the same thing. Everyone says everything different. So, hope have any of you, I don't know if I even asked you guys, have any of y'all made anything with the red heart gemstone and this is amber once again and it's a bulky five um it's made in turkey machine wash cold gentle cycle tumble dry so you can dry these so these would be good if you had little kids or anyone like mittens are really cute i mean you can't really do like go and do stuff outside mittens you can make a snowball <laughs> uh, but look these are cute and the towel is okay I mean like it's cute but I would probably rather make a hat but I might even make the I might make this for my mother-in-law I haven't really started making her anything and it's already December almost oh my but yeah so one more time here's the pattern and they come with free patterns sometimes you get one three sometimes you just get two and there's the cow, the second pattern you can make, which is cool. And then you got three bulk skeins of yarn, which each is 312 yards. So you have enough to make three, maybe four projects. Like I think a hat, bulky weight, it's 150 yards. So it still leaves you, I'm not good with math, like 100 and something left on here maybe yeah because he yeah you'll have 150 left and then it's hard to tell how much the mittens use so you could probably make two hats and two mittens maybe i should see if i can do that maybe that will be my goal for this time so i will let you all go sorry this video just i'm just yapping on and stay tuned to see if I make hats or make some mittens. I really want to get the mittens. Oh, and for the, if you guys wonder how much it costs, um, it is $4.99 for shipping. That's in my part of the, it might be different in different parts of the United States. And I don't know if they ship out of the United States. Um, it's $16.99 a month. Plus your $4.99, which comes up to $22, basically, which I think is a fair deal. I am happy with it. I only got one yarn that I didn't really like. It was a Novati yarn, and if you've been watching me, it's that shawl, and I'm most likely probably going to frog it. I don't want to, but I just, I've put it on the back burner, so it's my UFO. Um, but I have finished uh, one thing. I'm almost done with another thing. So I've been trying to bust them out and I'm about to probably go cast on some mittens and look up a hat pattern. I almost got a hat pattern planted inside my brain up here because I've made, I think, six hats. I'm working on my seventh one now. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. So y'all, I will let y'all go. I just rumbling on. I don't know how long you guys stick with me. If you have, I appreciate it. And thank you guys. 
and I will let you all go. Until next time, have a wonderful and blessed day and rock yarn. Bye y'all.